I remember when I was going around speaking to a lot of course groups and everything like this, I was I was so excited about the whole book of A Course in Miracles and a lot of times the, some of the greatest epiphanies that I had was when I got to uh, chapter, th you know, 30, 31, it was like at the very, very, very end of the text, self con concept versus capital self, I was like, talking in course groups like, that's it. I mean, that's the whole thing. That's it. I was like saying, leave it all behind. You know, sell your possessions. Come, be, and live as I live. And I sounded a lot like uh, St. Francis at these course groups and people are like, what chapter is that in? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like, no, it's at the end of the book, you know, at the end of the text. I was so euphoric that every time I had ever been defensive, we were talking about defensiveness, any time I was defensive, he says, whenever you feel the need to be defensive about anything, you have identified yourself with an illusion. And so I was like, wow. So this whole self-concept of David, my family, my city, my country, my career, my profession, my education, I was just like, hallelujah, that's all this concept that the ego made up and it's not who I am at all. So after 10 years of university and spending all this time in academia and grad school, I just chucked it all. I just dropped it. I was like, if that's what this whole thing's about, is dropping the self-concept so I can know myself as Christ, you know, and being of good cheer and really overcoming the ego in the world, then I said, this is fantastic. I'm so glad to get to the root of it. And the thing about it is, is when you want, you know that old thing in the Course about would you rather be right or happy? I asked Jesus one time, I said, what, tell me about this right or happy, would you rather be right or happy? He, would, he said, well, what it means is, would you, be, would you rather be right about how the ego set up this whole linear, construct of a cosmos. Would you rather be right about that or would you rather be happy? It wasn't about opinions. It wasn't about specific little things in my life and getting the facts right and everything. He was saying, would you rather be right about the way the ego set up the whole world or happy to see that none of it means anything and to chuck the whole thing? So as soon as I got down to that, I'm like, Okay, I'll go for check the whole thing. Now, I don't know how to do that, so I'm going to need a lot of guidance to check the whole thing. But the best part is, all these skills and abilities that were developed as part of that self-concept can still be given over to the Holy Spirit for, for speaking, for sharing, for communicating, uh, not for trying to build something in the world or attain something in the world or achieve something, but more like Buddha and Jesus talked about emptying the mind. It just takes willingness to, to listen and follow, but the context of listening and following is, is letting go. And I just see in my life, I see so many witnesses of people that are so willing to follow the Spirit, to go wherever they're guided to go, to pour their heart and soul into this, and to give it all over to Spirit, and then they will tell you they do have these beautiful shifts in the way they see the world. But it's not from kind of an intellectual standpoint or an intellectual understanding of the Course. It's from the actual diving in and going on the adventure and letting the Spirit, you know, take away literally the self-concept investment that was there.